We are following developments out of the state of Nevada. A suspect is now in custody for the stabbing death of a Las Vegas newspaper reporter. And the suspect is an elected public official. Police say 69-year-old Jeff Germain was stabbed to death for, on his front lawn Friday. He was a reporter with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Well, last night, police took into custody Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis at his home. He's accused of killing German. The, the journalist conducted several investigations and created several articles into Tellus's work as a government official. He lost his primary election shortly after those articles were published. The suspect is expected to appear in court this afternoon in Las Vegas. Reporter Sean Delancey with our affiliate KTNV has uh, more details on the case. Take a look. An overnight police raid of an elected official's home. Police sources saying public administrator Rob Tellis is in the crosshairs of the homicide investigation of veteran reviewed journal journalist Jeff Gehrman. We have confidence in our investigators. They, are, they have been working tirelessly. Monday, police released this image of a maroon GMC related to the slaying, piquing the attention of RJ reporters like Arthur Kane. That looks like a vehicle just like in uh, Tellis's driveway. Um, so that was really concerning and surprising. Ellis had publicly criticized Gehrman on social media and on his campaign website. Please be sure to vote for me in during his failed election. county administrator sure campaign, as Gehrman wrote several articles critical of Telus's job performance. A few years ago, when I started my first term, I found a disturbing situation at the office. Police wrapped up their initial investigation after noon, broke down their crime scene tape, and Tellus returned home dressed in a full body jumper. Can you tell us anything? His homestay wouldn't last long. Hours later, police returned, knocking on his door without answer. Then SWAT got involved, the beginning of an hours long standoff, which ended here. Ellis loaded into an ambulance and taken to UMC trauma to be treated for what police sources called non-life-threatening injuries in custody for the slaying of a man co-workers described as dedicated to his craft. He basically was, you know, 100% hard-hitting reporter, um, and um, this was the kind of work he was going to do. Uh, yeah, it is right out of uh, a Michael Connelly book or a, a Hollywood movie. You, you know, a guy whacks a reporter for writing bad things about him. Investigators are planning on holding a news conference at 10 o'clock local time, 1 o'clock Eastern in Vegas, and we'll bring you details as we get him. He'll also likely make a court appearance at some point. So with us, criminal defense attorney and uh, former prosecutor Eric Faddis in Denver and law professor at the University of Georgia, Melissa Redmond. Melissa, this one is, uh, you know, you, this is one of these scripts someone hands you, uh, a producer is like, oh, come on, that's too much. Um, to think that a guy loses an election and then um, goes and kills the newspaper reporter that said a couple things about him, uh, boom, talk about motive, uh, if indeed it's true. Yeah, if indeed it's true, the fact that he... I think there was a costume involved or some type of d disguise involved and a, um, a big hat and a scarf walking to the house. And then his car, the, the same car he drives every day and parks in front of his house is used in the crime. Um, so I'm sure, you know, there's been in, in the, the actions. So we don't know why he was taken to the hospital after that brief standoff. But I would imagine if he attempted to harm himself in some way, that is definitely going to be difficult for his future defense team to explain if he's not actually the one who perpetrated this crime as he's suspected to have. Yeah, Eric, that uh, alleged disguise, um, let's get a huge hat and a reflective outfit and walk through a neighborhood. Uh, that I should just blend right in and commit my murder, no problem. Uh, Public officials shouldn't get into the crime business, likely. Uh, if indeed it's true, there's all allegations at this point. What's your initial thoughts, though, Eric, on this bizarre case? I mean, it, it's horribly sad. A according to everyone at this newspaper, I mean, this is a seasoned journalist who's absolutely doing his job. 
Yeah, you know, um, not the most discreet disguise for any murder assailant, probably not uh, something that they should have opted for. Um, yeah, here, a, a tragic story. Um, and, you know, it reminds me a little bit of, of this notion, you know, in, in recent memory, there's kind of been an assault on the press. And, and, and a, a lot of politicians have made comments about, you know, how dastardly and underhanded the press is and that, um, you know, we the people should push back against the press. And I, I can't help but wonder if there is a, a hint of that going on here or if that played some kind of role in the death of this investigative journalist. Yeah, you're right. You know, the public perception of journalists um, has changed dramatically over the last, you know, five so or so years and um, for a number of reasons. But the the bottom line is there's this hatred and, and um, you know, lawyers get it too. But uh, media, members of the media, reporters, um, have been the target. The newspaper's executive editor released a statement saying the arrest of Robert Tellis is at once an enormous relief and an outrage for the Review Journal newsroom. We are relieved that Robert Tellis is in custody and outraged that a colleague appears to have been killed for reporting on an elective, elected official. And, and uh, I think Melissa Derrick's point well taken. Uh, sad commentary on, on where we are, um, that this would not be a massive surprise that someone would build this anger uh, and blame their troubles on the written word. Right. And, and, and again, we're talking about another individual who's going about his life doing what he does every day and being killed for it. I mean, it, it is a sad commentary on the state of affairs of our country when you can't go about your normal life without being at risk of, of losing your life. Yeah, again, uh, taken into custody last night after a search of his home. They ended up taking him out on a stretcher because of some injuries that he suffered. Uh, there was some reporting they were self-inflicted after investigators came to search his house. Again, part of likely the case ahead for him as he will have to stand trial facing murder charges for the horrible case. We want to thank Eric Faddis for his time and expertise as always on this Thursday morning. Enjoy the rest of your day, uh, Eric, in uh, Colorado.